welcome to my studio. Today I am going to do another page in my Nomad book journal. Um, I have got all sorts of things tucked in here that I've been adding and in the beginning, the very beginning, I've got um, a couple pages that I think that it's ready to go. So I thought that um, I would go ahead and work on it tonight. I am actually kind of struggling trying to decide what to do. Um, I've got like so many things in my head that I'm wanting to do and wanting to work on right now. I'm having a hard time landing on something. Um, so I'm hoping that this will, um, well, that this is what I need to be working on right now. I did just finish my a uh, little log and jotter today. I filled it up and so I'm excited to get started in the new one which I um, just went ahead and picked out. Um, I'd like to put something in the beginning of it like I did in the beginning of, of this one and um, so I'm, I'm kind of torn between what to work on with that. I don't want to start doing a page in this until tomorrow, but I kind of want to do some little smaller collages, so I think, I thought I might work in this a little bit and just kind of sit with you all and go through a few pages in it. So that might happen after this. I don't know. Um, I am all over the place right now and I'm not really quite sure what's going on. I don't know if it's finally um, that I'm getting, I'm, I'm finally just pulling out of this place that I was at for so long and had shut down my creativity for so long that now that I've been working on things daily, um, all of a sudden things are just like just <laughs> they're all over the place and wanting to come out and I'm not finding um, the right time to, to be able to, to do it all whenever I'm able to do it so um, yeah it's kind of the complete opposite of where I was at a couple months ago which is a really good thing um, but um, it's kind of a little overwhelming also because I'm not really I'm not really sure how to handle what's all going on um, and I think it's oh well it's just a lot of everything um, it's just a lot of everything that's it's I've been on my own for a year now and I'm still just really going through a lot of stuff and now I've got all of this art stuff that I'm working on and focusing on and I think I'm in a little bit of overwhelm. Um, so this I'm hoping is something nice and calming and relaxing to do. I don't know if you can hear my cardinal singing outside. Um, it's it's 9.17 tonight. Um, the birds are singing a little bit. I've got the windows open so I can hear my fountain. You um, can hear my birds and I think I'm just going to try to spend some quiet time working in, in this journal here. So I'm going to go ahead and put you up and move you down so that you can see what I'm doing and um, I don't really think this one is going to take very long. Um, so I know there's only pretty much just one thing that I'm going to cut out. So it should come together pretty quickly. It did take me a few days for just the um, different images to kind of come together that um, I've pretty much decided to go ahead and put on, on, on this page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab you and move you up there so that you can see down here. And we will get started on this page. Okay, so here's my journal, um, and what I was mentioning earlier about putting something in the beginning of this, um, whenever I had first started this one here, I had just added just some cutout words um, to the beginning of this. So I think later 
before I go to bed. Maybe I might um, go ahead and put the date for starting this one and maybe put some things here. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm just kind of going back and forth between doing this and working in this and I'm, I'm just not sure. So I did just um, video a flip through of of this little journal here. It's my little log and jotter. I've been doing a collage a day inside of it, sometimes two, um, but I did get this one full and I just did a flip through of this, so I'll have the link for that. Um, but I'm going to set this to the side for now. And um, in this guy here, let's see, I'm just going to work on this, these pages right here. Um, I have just pulled out some images that the, I thought the colors just looked nice. I liked that that said begin, so I thought that was good for the beginning of this page um, of, of my journal, I mean. And these are just some of the ones that I have gradually, bit by bit, slipped in. When I first started working on this journal, when I first um, um, saw the project, I had originally thought that I was going to do writing on all of the pages where there is text. And so I did go through um, just, and I've already covered up the other page that has text on it, but any of the pages where there was writing, I was going to paint over that and use that for a written journaling space. That was in, when did I start this? 2017, and I have since changed my mind. <laughs> um, so um, I think what I'm going to do, well this one had text on it and I did paint it um, and I since covered it up with images. So I um, don't think I will be doing any written, heavy written journaling in it. I am going to try to start actually doing just kind of things like this in it. Um, and just how I did here, I added some words there, um, just some really simple short types of, of things like that, but not like actually sitting and writing. So um, that was kind of a big thing that I was looking for when I was looking for an image to cover, to put here was something that just kind of covered over this place nicely. And I really... Um, I like how it says how to use this, this book, so I don't want to cover that up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put this down because it's, oh, look, we already ran out. Well, that's a great way to start. Let's see. I've got some more right here. And I always use mono adhesive to put these down. Um, it's quick. It's um, it's not messy, and I just, for this type of journal, it works really well for me. So I'm just going to place this here and cover over all this area that I had painted white. And then I just came across this one earlier. It's typewriter keys. I had found this one a while ago and tucked it in here, and I just... I like the idea that it was typewriter keys just kind of to, signi to, signi <laughs> to signify um, writing and whatnot in it. So, um, but now that I've placed that one there, I kind of feel like that one's too big. So I think I'm just going to put that right there. I don't know. I don't think I want to put anything else there. Now that I'm looking at it, I... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and place that right there. And then over here, this one for sure, I'm not going to cut. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and cut her out. So let's get her cut out really quick. I did finally um, break down and buy myself some of the Tim Holtz left-handed... Um, little detail scissors like these and I have wanted them for a long time I have had them in my Amazon cart many times and never got them would take it out of the cart and then forget about them and then would remember them again and put them back in my cart 
And so finally, uh, last week or so, I thought, you know what, this is absolutely ridiculous. I need to buy these scissors because I am being creative again. I'm doing things again. I'm doing a lot of cutting of things out. And this would help me so much to have actual left-handed scissors because um, a lefty using righty scissors, I have to kind of tilt them silly. I have to look at them at a different angle just so that the blades um, line up right so that I can see where to cut. And um, I had always told myself how difficult it was for me to cut with these because they're not made for a lefty. So I finally got those left-handed scissors and I cannot cut with them to save my life. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what to do. I have been using right-handed right -handed scissors my entire life. Um, I think there might have been once or twice when I was in elementary school when I tried to use left-handed scissors and I just couldn't do it because I've just had to adapt and have always used right-handed scissors. So I'm not quite sure what to do. I almost kind of feel like maybe I need to get maybe a sheet of notebook paper and just daily practice cutting along the line just so that I get used to how to hold the scissors and to follow along the line. But for now, I'm using my good old ones that I've had absolutely forever. But let's see, I'm going to see if I can fit her on here. And the top of her head, I think I'm going to put along the top of this paper. The edge of the paper is right here. It's kind of hard to see since I've got so many things tucked in. So I think I might cut the edge of this off. There goes my Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to cut the edge of this off so I can move this over to the side a little bit. Because since that other part is tucked under her body, it doesn't really matter if it's cut off or not. I always look on the other side whenever I cut things because you never know what's going to be on the other side. Sometimes it could be part of a floral image or, or things like that, something that you could use um, someplace else. So, let's see. You know, I might actually line her up with the top of this. I have this here. I'm going to line this picture up with the bottom of this picture of the bed here and then I'm going to line her up with the top of that print. Cut some more of this off. I didn't get it close enough to her. Got a little bit of dark there. Okay. And I, as I'm looking at this and, and as I have been looking at this lately, I'm trying, I would like to maybe write something on the cup, but I'm not 100% sure what I want to write on the cup. So I don't know if I will do that now or if that is something that I might add later. Um, the other thing that I want to do with her is give her some wings. And this is just a big, um, it's a big butterfly sticker. And I believe that these were actually um, the kind like wall decals that you got. I remember picking this up at Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. It was on clearance and I think that they were wall decals. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a long time but I really want to give her some wings and I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut a couple of spots here in her hair so that I can tuck tuck the wings in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut them off the body here so that I can see better where to cut the spaces in her hair. Um, but I love giving my girls wings. Um, a lot of my collage um, 
the girls always have wings. If it's someone who is for sure representing me, um, she has wings. So just a lot of the, um, just, just the whole, um, I'm going to follow along with her hair here, I think. Just what a butterfly stands for, for me, as far as change and all of those things. That's why I've always been really drawn to using um, a butterfly in my art. Uh, let's see, I think I'll follow along that bit of hair right there. And just by kind of following along with her hair, it makes it look more like they're tucked in and coming out from her hair on her back. I think that's good. So, since this is a big sticker, I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And it is a transparent kind of a, it's see-through, it's clear. So it's not, it's going to show up, but it's not going to be super, super bright um, wings as if they were if, if it was, you know, cut out, a solid image cut out from um, a magazine or one of my books. Just going to tuck this one under here. But with a lot of these pages, I've really um, kind of Well, I'm I'm working on them more different than I have with pages and with collage pages in the past. Before I would sit down and for sure start with um, an image and just the other elements that go with it. I would um, have all that together and ready and put together put it together at once um, for a page. I didn't sit and kind of let things grow into a page like I am with this journal as far as um, just going through my magazine images bit by bit here and there um, if I'm not really feeling if I don't know for sure what I want to be working on a lot of times I'll just sit with and go through my um, files that I have of my images and just look through them and pull out ones that um, that I like that really grab my eye and then I'll just a little bit later I might sit down with um, with my book and my stack of images and just kind of flip through the pages and look at them and and tuck in um, an image here and there where it kind of seemed like is where it wants to go so that's completely different than how I've ever worked on collage pages before um, but it's kind of nice to do it differently to be just kind of looking at things in a little bit different way and not really rushing I'm not rushing the process at all I'm not trying to rush the pages at all um, I have several in here that I feel like are getting close to being ready and I just kind of you know here and there I'll look at them and maybe add a little bit more or not and when I feel like it's about ready for me to start putting it together then we get to where I am today with this one so um, it is completely different it's and I and I really like it it's been it's been nice to kind of just let things build and grow slowly instead of jumping in and trying to finish something from beginning to end all in, all in one sitting. Um, I used to really, really struggle with that, um, thinking that I had to start and stop um, a project. And I believe a lot of it was just the fact that um, I, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I always had little kids around and when you had free time is when you had free time and 
and that a lot of times that was it. So um, if I, I knew that if I didn't use that time and use it quickly and wisely, that I might not have any more time that day to, to do anything. And so I just kind of got this mindset that I had to start and stop a project. And another reason why was because, you know, you've got little kids and they get their little fingers and everything and you don't want to leave your things out. And so I would have to put things away after after working on it. I wasn't able to, to leave things sitting out. Um, but now that my kids are bigger, I am... Um, I well, I would like to say that, I, <laughs> that things don't get messed with, but they still do, um, and that's fine because my kids like to come in and look and see what I've been doing and 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 work in here and and things like that. But um, it's nice to be able to kind of just do things do things a little bit here and there. This um, says. Field Guide to Everyday Magic. I actually clipped it from, um, it's one of the Bella Grace special um, issues, and I think it was called Field Guide to Everyday Magic. But I thought that, I saw that, and I thought, oh, that would work perfect here. So it says, how to use this book, and this is as, so I just need to cut out an A, cut out an A really quick. So it's going to say, how to use this book, and then I'll say as. A field guide to everyday magic so and then really I think that that's that that's it with this one I do want to put something here I'm just not exactly sure so let me cut an A out really quick and get that down and I might kind of go the rest of this night sleep on this one a little bit and see if I can think of something to put there but I see like either two words written across there or, or one word or I could write even like part of a word up here and I I just I might see if I can find a quote with begin kind of in the middle of the quote that would maybe work but I just really really oh sorry about that I really see um something written there i'm really really feeling the pull to try to start adding some i'm looking for my piece of tissue paper i have a piece of deli paper here it is try to keep a piece of deli paper close by for me to um glue things on i was trying to figure out which side was the right side to glue this on and look i cut this out perfectly and it is exactly the same on both sides. I thought I was going crazy there for a minute. It's like, wait a minute. So how about that? So, okay. Um, I was afraid I was putting the glue on the wrong side, but in this case, there isn't a wrong side. Um, all right, so let's get this glue down. I do like kind of having my words go off the side a little bit. I'm not really quite sure why, but I do. And um, it's easiest just to glue things down like this with the glue stick and my trusty little um, needle nose um, tweezers are the best thing in the whole world for doing work like this, for gluing down these little small bits and pieces. So. That is what I like to use the best. Uh, it's able, I'm able to keep, to keep things out of the way, my hand out of the way, so I can actually see where I'm placing things down. So I use these all of the time. So, all right. Well, that was nice and quick, and I like how it's turned out. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Do a little research and see if I can maybe find something to put there. I don't think that I want to um, use clipped out words, but I could. That could happen too. I could use some cut out words there, but I'm just not quite sure. So I'm going to let this sit overnight and come back to it in the morning and uh, we'll see what we think about it in the morning. 
Hi everybody. Okay, so it is um, an evening or so later, <laughs> and I am still kind of sitting on this page here. I um, had this book open earlier today, and I was um, I've got I've got so much stuff all around. I've had just several things going on at the same time today, and I haven't completed one yet so I'm really gonna try hard to finish something right now um, I don't know if you can see I've got I was sitting down earlier well this morning and I was trying to I wanted to put something in here and so I started looking through all of my words and all of this kind of started coming together so I'm not really exactly sure where it's gonna go but I don't want to move it because I've kind of got things in an order. I've got stuff over here ready to go inside this, which I'm going to be works. I think I, later after I finish this, I'm going to um, do a couple pages in here. Oh, but um, so I had this open. I was just kind of looking at it, and I. Um, once again, wasn't sure exactly what to do. Like I said, I have just really been scattered um, the past couple of days, and um, I I know I am struggling with some things, and it's starting to come out in just my being. Just well, yeah. I I know I mentioned the whole overwhelmed part, so I'm just kind of. I feel like I'm all over the place with working on stuff so I've been kind of doing things just bit by bit here and there um, so earlier today when I was sitting here I wanted to work on something and I started I cut out I cut out this tulip back here but while I had this book open I started looking at this more and um, I had decided to um, the red tulip on this other page kind of got me thinking about um, roses and I was cutting out roses to go on that page and I kind of had that thrown there isn't my cardinal just absolutely beautiful um, he's decided to come over and be a part of the video tonight um, so I that I just kind of sat there and I thought you know I really like that I think that I want to go ahead and add some flowers um, just over here I like how I've got the wings tucked in so it looks like it's coming out of her hair but I really think I would rather have some sort of flowers kind of um, kind of around around her wings so I have just been kind of cutting some out um, this one I am actually going to save because I think it's going to work on this other page back here a whole lot better well not a whole lot better but it's going to be perfect for this one back here so I'm going to tuck that here um, and I've just got some roses that I have cut out from my book I don't think I'm trying to decide if I want to have them all red, if I want some white, um, what I want. And this here, and actually this one too, came out of my rose book. I have been using this book for roses for years. I um, actually have a couple of copies of this book because um, it is just so wonderful for rose images. And I love using flowers. Um, on my pages I've always used uh, roses, flowers, and, and butterflies. Those are the, the two things that, that I use a lot of. Flowers and butterflies in my collage. And this is a fantastic book for that. So um, whenever I do cut something out of here I always save, save all of it because even I cut out a flower from this side but even on this side there are still usable parts to it and I actually just kind of had this tucked right in here so that is why you will see things like this because 
there's still a whole lot on here that I can use. So I think I'm going to cut out these white ones. I'm not 100% sure if I want to use them. I um, kind of feel like I saw something else back over here. And I'm just, oh, and I'm just, I'm flinging papers around. I really like this pink one. That might actually look really, really nice there. I was hoping to kind of stay with red because of the red in this one, but I really like how it's got, it's got that. You know, actually what I could do would be, I could use this flower and I could use those leaves. I think that is what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take off what I need. And by doing that, it'll save the flower on this side and it will save a lot of the flower on this side. Some of it. I just really like think that's what I want to do. Okay. And I do, I have to confess, I, I went to Half Price Bookstore yesterday just to, I hope to find just something just for some inspiration just to try to kind of help um, just inspire me to get working on things again and on collage and things again and I thought you know oh, I'll just maybe if I find one book just with some new things to look in and to go through that'll that'll kind of help you know um, just re-spark all of that and Oh goodness, I ended up coming home with quite a stack of books. Um, <laughs> and I'm actually really excited because I got some really neat ones, but I was telling myself, it's like, oh, I have no business buying any of these books. I already have so many, but I got some really fantastic books with um, more roses in them. And I was actually thinking about maybe just doing a video to show show you what I've got because um, especially when you're buying used books and or online and you don't have the opportunity to open them up and see what is inside um, a lot of times that you're just it's hit or miss on if it's actually going to work and it's especially with um, floral books books with flowers in it because so many of them are um, about gardening and things like that and even books about roses and if you're wanting a lot of rose images a lot of times so much of the book is full of um, like the gardening tips and how to take care of them and and things like that and not necessarily full of a lot of images and it's images that I'm going after I don't need the I'm not after the information on how to take care of them so I think I might, I might show you all what I got. I also picked up one um, that was sealed and I was concerned. I didn't know. I just, I didn't know and I went with my gut and I'm really glad that I did. Um, and it is about giant silk moths and it has some of the most fascinating photos in it that I have ever seen of moths and the images are all large and um, so I'm really 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 glad that I picked that one up um, I got another one that has butterflies in it um, I got several rose ones and I'm trying to think what else I got. Oh, I got one that has um, 
it's a Japanese garden inspired images and um, I try to just either buy what's on clearance from half price or ones that are um, still like ten dollars or less I don't like paying more than ten dollars for something um, unless it's just absolutely just exactly exactly what I need so everything that I got I believe was $9.99 or less so um, okay yeah I I like that so now let's see now it is back to deciding if I, I think I might tuck in a couple a white one in here and when I'm cutting these out I just kind of go back and forth I'm not since it is a flower petal I um, you don't have to follow it just super exact you kind of have a little bit of leeway with things because they're not necessarily straight anyway um, so and even along this edge right here it was almost kind of kind of straight just from the way that the image was but by cutting it kind of up and down and wavy like a petal you can sometimes turn part of a cut off flower into a petal and almost and fix it so that it's usable so Okay, so note to self, always check and see how much memory you've got left on your camera before you start doing something. So I don't think I lost that much. I know I was just saying that um, this was my favorite part. Um, if I repeat something, sorry, but I'll say, I'll try to remember what I was saying, but I um, just cut the um, white flower into two, into um, a couple of pieces and I was mentioning how to not be afraid to cut something to make it work for you for what you're trying to do with it so um, this was not working all together with the white all together in one piece so I just kind of cut off one of one of the smaller flowers and now I've tucked it into the side and I like how that looks a lot better um, Another thing that sometimes I do, especially if I have three petals on a flower, um, I'll cut one of them off and I'll have two down here and maybe one on the other side. So I might do that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. That's a maybe. Um, so now though, I really like how this is. And the fun part is gluing this all down how I have it here. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, and you have to kind of look at things, um, you know, you're gluing from the bottom to the top, so whatever I think will go on the bottom is what I put down first, and then I'll work my way up. Um, I'm almost wondering if I should do this off of my girl, build it off of the girl, and then stick it down. So, no, I want that flower right there. I for sure want the bud. To be along the line of her wing. And there is nothing to stick that onto that. All right. This is when I sometimes kind of do some silly things to glue things together. I'm going to make a little band-aid of sorts here with a piece of, I've got just a scrap piece of paper. Because uh, I know that I want this to be right here.
I can move this red one around however I want, but for now, I think that's a good place. All right. So that's going to hold that rosebud where I want it to be until so that I can put together the rest of it. I'm just going to cut off this extra bit here. This just makes it a little bit easier for me to do things so that I can move stuff around how I want it. Actually, I think that might just be a lot of times another thing that I do is just take my pencil and lightly draw around this. This is kind of a unique part of the flower, so it's only going to fit back in that one spot, so that way I know where where to put it. Um, okay. and the same thing with this. And actually I need to put the leaves down on real quick. I think I'm going to kind of do it together. Because I'm not going to be exactly sure where I want to put the leaves until I get the flower right where I want it. So. still have this little white one somewhere. Where did I put the little white one? There it is. on top of this leaf and leaf and underneath that one this has got like a bad spot on the leaf and it's really kind of bothering me which is really silly I might cover that up with a marker because I feel like that's like all that I can see there actually. Let's move it over here. I think I can move it up here. Then I can cover it up. Well, I kind of just want the um, bud to be up there by itself. Okay, so I'm like really wondering if this is supposed to happen tonight because now my battery had just died. So luckily I heard the camera whenever it turned itself off. So, okay, I like that so much better than how I had it before. Um, I'm still going back and forth on what to put here. Um, 
I was going through some of my drawers earlier. I have a lot of um, words and phrases that I've cut out throughout the years organized in these little drawer units like this and um, just to, to help so it's easier for me to find things and I had it in categories that I was working a lot with like uh, I have just kind of like basic words um, and then descriptive words and action words uh, positive change um, I had um, well an angry an angry and just um, what was a uh, fear um, drawer because um, well with where I was at a lot of things that the pages that I was doing a lot of what I was going through was coming out in in um, my journals and so so much so that I needed a drawer for that um, um, so this is one of the positive change ones and I just kind of been sitting sitting down um, and looking through things if seeing if something would fit here and um, because I'm still going back and forth with whether or not to write anything on this silly cup. But I found this one. So I was like, okay, I can either place words on here or um, I can write something. I still haven't decided. But just one of the things that I um, like to do and that I was doing earlier with how I ended up with all the words that I had lined up over on the side was I just kind of sit and flip through and start pulling out ones that catch my eye and just words, single words, parts of sentences, um, just things like that and as I'm doing that a lot of times it just kind of starts building into into something um, and so I had pulled this one out because I thought that was a good way to start this um, journal for sure um, but then I also found this it says now is the perfect time so it would actually go really well up here on the top above the word begin so it could go there um, I found this one that says a journey with um, which I could just use begin a journey um, so wait now's a perfect time to begin a journey and then I found this one of your dreams so just doing it like this cutting the sentences apart moving things around is how I do a lot of this found word journaling. So that right there, I could put, now's the perfect time to begin. Journey of your dreams. I could put a lot A right there. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do this. I could cover this up with, try to cover this up with paint, but I think I'll do it this way. My fingers are a little sticky, so things are wanting to stick onto me. Let's see, let's cut out a, an A here and see how that looks. I just keep these magazines always right where I can grab them so I always have um, words, letters um, I want, I do want to make sure this is black black letter on white since everything else is um, let's see but I just have these magazines, they are freebies from, that I pick up at Whole Foods and I'm going to cut a letter out here. Alright, just cut this A right out of the middle of the word taste. So, that's 
that's what I needed and I didn't really I don't feel like looking around a long time for just one letter well my tweezers are sticky too hmm yep now I don't know if I like that I almost feel like this is too long. I should do this, change this to the journey of your dreams, not a journey of your dreams. Let's cut out, let's cut that out, see if we can find one. I'm trying to be careful and not blow things around. So we've got that silly little period right there. And this is too long for here, so I'm not really quite sure how I want to do that. Because I really don't think we've got enough space to move this up. Unless I go on the handle. It actually goes across over to the handle. Let's see how close I can get this. If I had it as a journey of your dreams, it would fit here. If I have it as the, oh, let's move here. Okay, I have an idea. Let's do this. Okay. I think that's going to work. Let's 
So, how are we going to take care of that silly period? That's the question. Because it's not totally, totally white. Um, let me see. Oh, I do, and I have. Um, let's see if I can get my paint out without causing a craft of land here. Oh. All right. Let's see. And I have many times, several times, covered over, covered over things, especially text and um, on an image. Uh, I just did it not long ago in this one actually. Um, I think so. I was flipping through this one the other day and I found a few pages that I hadn't that I hadn't finished and I was really surprised. Um, well, But I had gone through and I added some um, paper across the top and bottom to several of these because they didn't... Here, this one right here actually has... There's writing under there. It says Bella Grace. So I went over it with just more paint and... Um, was able to cover that up and make it look like water enough that, especially from a distance, you can't tell that it was there. It's better than having uh, white letters on there. So it's doable. So let's see what we can do. I just know this isn't exactly, exactly white, but I think I'm going to start with just some plain old white paint with a little bit of. Actually, I've got. I might have. Yeah. Got a light buttermilk. This might kind of work. It's been so long since I have used these. Oh my goodness. Make sure that I shake everything out very, very well. I'm just gonna put all I need is the most most smallest of a bit to cover this up. And, oh, there goes my speaker. This one's probably glued itself shut. Okay. And I don't have the best lighting whatsoever right now because it's Oh, it's 8.30 and my light in here is not that fantastic, but a lot of times even just kind of moving things around and patting things around, I kind of feel like this is more on... And this will probably end up being one of those things that I know is there. Well, and now you all know it's there, but um, kind of if I didn't point it out, there's a good chance that nobody would notice the situation. I just put a little bit of gray in there. I need a different paintbrush. This one's too big. I kind of want something stiff so I can. You know what? I think it picked up some of that ink under there. Oh, goodness. I don't want to go over my word.
All right, I think I salvaged it. The problem is, is that my lighting in here is awful. This is one of those things that should be done in broad daylight. Let's turn my light on here. I got rid of that spot enough that nobody will really know that it's there. to go wash my brushes. Okay, now let's glue these these silly words down. And I, I do save all of these pieces, even like the bits with leaves on them, because I just don't know when I might have something for a, a rose that um, doesn't have a leaf, or if I'm wanting an extra leaf or something like that. So. Way here real quick. Okay. So now is the perfect time to Now is the perfect time to begin the journey. journey of oh you know what though it says your dreams and that is something that I am changing in these um, journals where I'm doing this type of found word poetry um, I was always doing it like I was talking to myself as in you, so like myself saying you um, and your, but I've been changing that to my and me and I. Um, it just feels, it feels, um, more like it's me now instead of instead of me like talking to myself um, as a different as a separate person um, I am it's like almost oh, I, I don't know how to explain this um, 
But it's, it's more like taking um, ownership of a sense in in it um, in in things. It's my. It's and there's a my right there. Um, it's a very hard word to find. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one out. Um, it is a difficult word to find. Um, actually, I know where I've decided a good place for me to find it. Um, I've got this uh, Artist Way book. I've got it for two dollars at um, Half Price Bookstore. So this one, it seems like this one had a lot of mice because I remember telling myself that if I need mice, that this is a book for me to look in. Um, it's just not a word that you find a lot of, even in, in like, um, um, like a fiction book and whatnot. And here's a bunch right here. My favorite. When I was a child, my favorite toy was, is what it says. Um, but it just, it's, it's more, it's like I've, 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 it's like I'm, I'm one now. I'm not, um. I'm not one version of myself who's trying to talk to and motivate the other version of myself. It's 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 all me. It's all me now. It is all me, um, and it's just something that I I um, recently started trying uh, recently started changing, um, and. Um, especially my red moleskin for sure everything in it was was like that it was me kind of talking to myself um, and she and this says tired though she was she finally found the courage to keep going that now when I see that I would write that as tired though I was I finally found the courage to keep going and that just feels so much different for me to read it that way and to, to feel it that way than this does. This still means the same thing, um, but it's more like it's actually me who's talking, not me to myself, <laughs> which this is so hard to put into words, um, but so that is something that I am making a huge effort to change is is to change to have all the use are um, are me are they're my it's I it's not you um, so anyways that is why that's the long story of me trying to explain why I'm doing doing it this way um, but for me it is extremely important and um, it just it makes it just feel a lot different um, than how it did before so and all those times before obviously they helped me a whole lot and um, I know that I surely wouldn't be where I am now if I had not worked through so many things in my journal that way, but now I, I just know that it's the right thing to do for me to change change the wording. Uh, I I realized and I'm realizing how important just how I use words are, um, especially just when it comes to just me and my life and and everything else and how I see things. Uh, the words that I use to think uh, make a big difference. So let's get this down. For something that I think pretty sure I said in the beginning that oh this won't take very long to do whatsoever. Um, it has. <laughs> and but it also shows you how even though I kind of thought that it was done um, it wasn't, and um, I, you know, I thought that I already had everything laid out and ready to go for it, and it was finished, and I was just going to glue things down, and we'd be done, and um, and that wasn't how it was at all. It 
looks a whole lot different than it did whenever I had finished the video the other night when I thought, oh, I'm just going to glue this stuff down and it'll be done. All I have left is to maybe write something on this cup and look what we ended up doing. We gave our girl some beautiful rose wings. So, all right. I think this one is finally done. I thought that I had found um, a phrase that I had clipped out and might be lost over here in my pile of, of little clippings of words. I have had been mess I have been messing around with clipped out words all day and they've kind of gotten tangled up. But I think I might have something that I was gonna stick on here that went with this. I am not sure. Um, but besides that, I am gonna call this one finished. I need to get my stamp. Today is July 16th. And get my little piece of paper. I think we're good. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And I'm really excited to do the next one. Um, it's, I have been working on it by bit all day today and getting parts of it um, cut out and ready to go. So let's see, where should we put this? I might just put it down here on her dress. Okay. There's a little bit down here to clip off. Just a little bit. There we go. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, my book's kind of starting to come along. Well, actually, there's a bit that I found. Um, so yeah, even like the, this page that I had completed last year, almost on this day, July 17th, 2017, I found I'm finding things and possibly adding to those pages. So, um, yep. And I redid this one so okay I hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging in with me all this through all of this to watch this one finally come to be and um, I hope that you're enjoying uh, working in this and that it inspires you and um, and in my my bits of ramblings that you are learning something about how my process and with making these pages come together so um take care everyone i love you thank you so much for all of your kind words um for all of your support it means the world to me and um if you have any questions um, or comments please leave them below and um i will be seeing you again really soon thank you bye, -bye.